I was out here earlier today spraying one of my drawers from my kitchen and I was just thinking that it might be interesting to try to spray this styro lacquer that I made. It's been sitting in this bucket after I finished using it for the past, I don't know, month. And it still looks like it's in good shape. It looks like there's a little bit of water that's gotten in there, but I don't think that I need to worry about that. Let's look at my shorts. I'm going to filter it because it looks like there might be some dirt in there. Okay, it looks like there is some water in the top, and this cup is starting to dissolve actually, so I gotta move fast. Um, there's still a little bit in suspension, it looks like, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna poke a hole in the bottom of the cup, and that should get the cleanest stuff out. Okay, well, I had it half full, and then I dropped it, and it splashed all over me, which is awesome. So I've probably only got a quarter cup left in there now, but it should be enough for what I want to do. Uh, I've got a piece of plywood here. This is maple plywood. This is the stuff I'm using in my kitchens. And I'm going to shoot this on and see how it looks. <laughs> Wicked! It's like spider webs. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> this would be great on Halloween. Awesome. <laughs> and it's completely dry after it comes out. It's amazing. So yeah, this is quite unexpected. Wow, I got it all over my glasses, all over my face. But it's like it's, it's very much like spider webs. It's just not as sticky. It's like, it's completely dry when it comes out of the gun. Incredible. A little piece on the lens. Okay, so. Looking at this here, I can see that some of it did get on there before it started to flare up. I think what it was is that it's too thick. So I thinned it down about 50%. I added lacquer thinner to it and I'm going to try it again. I already sprayed it on the ground. It still will web up, but uh, I think if I hold it in close, it will actually go on the wood. but the overspray is a killer. <laughs> okay, well, I guess that one's a bust. I think it'll be okay if you brushed it on and then let it dry and then sanded it and then gave it another coat. Um, it's, what I said in the beginning was that it wasn't a very high-grade finish. Anyway, it was just something really from nothing. You take the styrofoam, you dissolve it in the lacquer thinner, in my case, I used lacquer thinner that was used. Uh, it was stuff I was cleaning blades with. It was already contaminated. So that's a good use for it. I've tried gasoline. A lot of guys suggest the gasoline as a cheaper alternative. Gasoline doesn't melt it as aggressively, but it still does melt it. Just for the sake of the video, I thought I would do the lacquer thinner because it looked more dramatic. 
So anyway, <laughs> that's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it, and see you next time.